Coming up to 4.30 p.m., the 8th of September, 2025, I'm Texas Storm Chasers, Baldy and Chief David Reimer. The risk for isolated severe thunderstorms will exist this evening across the Texas Panhandle, across the eastern and northeastern Texas Panhandle, generally east of 287 and north of I-40. We do have the potential for scattered severe thunderstorms. The most intense storms are likely to develop between 5 and 7 p.m., maybe a little later, in southwest Kansas near Liberal, move south across the Oklahoma Panhandle, and continue their southward progress into the northeastern Texas Panhandle. Storms are likely to dissipate near or a little after midnight. The most intense storms may produce damaging hail up to the size of baseballs, maybe a little bit bigger, localized winds over 70 miles per hour. The tornado risk is very low, but it is not zero. Here is the high-res rapid refresh model taking us through the evening. You can see this model does have intense thunderstorms moving south across the Perryton Canadian to the Pampa area this evening. A few storms possible as far west as Dowhart as well, but the better confluence, convergence, and the amount of instability and wind shear we have will be highest in the northeastern panhandle, and you can see this thing is popping off some pretty nasty looking supercells into the evening hours. Again, they'll generally be moving south, southeast at about 20 miles per hour. The most intense storms producing very large hail, damaging wind gusts, lightning, and a non-zero risk of a tornado. We have storm chasers out and about, and we'll be keeping a close eye on the situation. If warranted, we'll have live severe weather coverage this evening. Generally, if we have really big hail or tornado warnings, and we'll be posting frequent updates from our storm chasers. Get the latest weather information in the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps to your device or texasstormchasers.com radar.